Hello, hello, Impala LFX 13. Sorry about my voice, I have a little cold. Uh, but anyway, I, I wanted to share this information. Um, I just wanted to know for myself if uh, winter tires actually hurt uh, MPG versus a summer uh, tire. In this case, it's a, it's a true summer performance tire. And uh, on this case, it's a Michelin PS2. And on the right, it's a winter stud uh, Goodyear um, Ultra Grip winter tire. So the advantage of my summer tire here, it's on a lighter wheel. The tire itself is a little lighter, even if it's wider. It looks taller, but they're about the same height. Uh, actually, this one is actually a little less high once it's on the car. Um, but it, it's lighter the tire itself it's like two and a half pounds lighter and the wheel it's uh, eight pounds lighter so you're looking at 10 pounds lighter for the summer versus the winter uh, the advantage of the winter that may have it's narrower about an inch narrower so less tread on the ground but there's more you know it's less rolling resistance compared to the, this one. Uh, anyway, you don't have to wait. Uh, with the magic of the videos, I already have the information for you. So this is what I have compared to my last test. So we're the 4th November. Uh, last time I did the test, I think was the first week of September. Could be almost two months ago. I think it was the 6th or the 8th. September 2019. Um, I started the test today at this mileage, 136.327, which is 84. I put the miles on the side. Uh, I handed the test, the trip, 136.3. Usually, the test is about uh, 128 kilometers. Uh, I went one exit further. Um, I got somewhat distracted, but it's the same thing. Uh, it will average out uh, because I do an average fuel use versus the mileage. Uh, my last oil change, uh, for those who saw my last video, was at uh, 4888 kilometers, which is like just over 3,000 miles. And since the tribal text, because that's who, the reason I did the last video, it's um, 3938 kilometers, which is 2461 miles. Uh, now, the this is the information I had from my last video with the tribal text with uh, over a thousand kilometers, like 770 miles on it because the tribal text says it needs a few miles, like 500 miles before it actually does. It did help a bit because I had 7.0 something uh, before the, the tribal text. But what really helped it's the sound level, it's less. Uh, now, this is what I had for with the summer tires, and this is what I had a few hours ago with the winter tires. As you can see, it does affect uh, temperature-wise. It was almost the same because when I did the last test, I started the test temperature was like 13 degrees and ended up like 8. And this one, I started 8 and it ended up like 5. Um, on this one, I didn't use any C no AC at all, maybe a, just a, a low vent uh, once in a while. And same thing with this one. Actually, I had the heat on, but like at 60%. Um, actually, uh, if I had the 100%, it was too warm. And I had to leave on a bit the, the hair so the, the, the windows did not fog up. So I tried to be as fair as possible. Again, that's the summer tire Michelin PS2. That's the size. And this is actually the OEM size, comes stock with that, 225.55.17. Now go back to the fuel usage. Um, as you can see, the winter tire does hurt the fuel economy. Um, because it's heavy, the, the compound, it's, it's softer. Uh, there's studs also on it, so that doesn't help. So you look you lose about 0.676 liters per 100k in uh, mpg uk uh, almost 3.6 uh, 
and MPG US almost three miles per gallon. So you're losing about three miles per gallon or um, oh, 0 0.676 liters per 100K. My message board said I was doing 6.3 liters per 100K, um, which, you know, it's not really represent because this is what I had if because the total fuel use again was 10.404 on a trip 136.3 so I don't know it did the same thing on with this test uh, it read, read lower I think it read like 5.9 or something like that so you could see the message board reads at least one liter per 100k very optimistically put it that way so for those who out there wanted to know if winter tire does affect your your um, fuel economy it does now if there's a again that summer tire even if it's performance it's somewhat of a low rolling resistance it's as that green technology maybe a winter tire with green technology would help uh save fuel but then again um i want traction here in the mountains uh, when it snows it snows so no effing around uh, for traction wise and the car has uh, four uh, steelies with uh, studded tire what i really uh, i gotta uh, you know i i'm not a brand i love michelin okay i i, I won't i love michelin the only reason i don't i don't i do not have winter tires with michelin is because there's no studded tires for michelin there's none so on my truck i'm stuck in putting um general stud tires for winter and on this car i got this good year but this is my fifth uh, winter i just started my fifth winter and still a decent tread on it uh, i don't do a lot of mileage but i still do some mileage uh, maybe uh six to eight thousand mile uh during uh, the five and a half months uh, that i use the, the these winter tires um, so by law here in my province, I have to have them by the 1st December. So the video is getting too long and these are the numbers again. And yes, winter tires, studded winter tires will affect your fuel mileage. Take care and good evening.